Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cartoons, and just like before, I am going to be going over the Fire Mage, all of the gems, reforging, strat, stat priority, whatever you guys need for uh, whatever you're going to do for gearing up your Fire Mage. I already did a video for Frost Mage, and it was really successful. You guys were really happy with everything. But unfortunately, my gear isn't set up for Fire Mage, but I still know everything that you need to go to get all your Fire Mage gear set up. My gear is named or is ready to go for Frost Mage because that's where I'll be playing in an arena, anyways. Is Frost Mage, and I've geared him up accordingly. Um, I don't have the Honor Pants or the Honor Bracers yet. I'm almost there. Um, I'm going to be getting it tomorrow, actually. Both of these pieces will be filled. So, anyways, what we're going to do for the actual step priority is it's a little bit different now. Um, as opposed to Frost, what you would do is you would go for Mastery, Gems, PvP Power, Intellect, and that was pretty much it. Uh, like Crit, Crit, and Haste was pretty much useless. For Fire, it's a little bit different. Uh, there's a little bit different of a stat priority. And unfortunately, Haste is still useless. I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. Haste is still a useless stat. You still will not use it as Fire, and... Some, or some people may disagree, but this is just what I use. So this is my rendition of what I believe to, you know, what I believe to be right for my character. What makes it do most damage? I don't think haste is worth it at all. But at the same time, um, as opposed to frost, mastery was worth it. Now it's not. Uh, it's a decent stat, but it's not exactly the top stat. The top stat you need is crit. Because you want to be able to get off a ton of hot streaks. Because when you get two spells in a row that are crits. Uh, you will be able to get a free Pyroblast, and then you can go from there to get a nice Combustion and get a bunch of damage off. But anyways, um, what you're going to be doing for crit and hit and everything like that is you want to get your hit chance to 6.04%. You can do that by reforging your gear. I recommend reforging haste to hit first. Like I've reforged on my chest piece here, I've reforged the haste to hit. I've got 228 hit rating off of that. And then I've reforged my uh, staff haste to hit. And I've reforged a couple other things, and then once you run out of things to reforge that are haste, I would recommend just reforging some mastery over. Uh, but anyways, for gems, uh, there's three types of gems. Obviously, there's a blue, green, or there's a blue, yellow, and a red slot. And what you're going to be doing for those slots is for red, you're going to be taking intellect, which is called the brilliant gem. And I've actually got that because it's the main one for frost as well. For red, you want to take perfect brilliant pandarian or pandarian garnet. And once you have that, you'll be set to go for your red gems. And for yellow, what you're going to be wanting to take is this gem. I'm going to show you on the auction house and what the prices are as well. Is you're going to be taking what's called a perfect radiant Alexandrite. And what it does is it gives crit and PvP power. PvP power is a really essential thing to have as, as any type of PvP or actually now because it gives damage towards any player. But at the same time, you're going to be taking your main stat as well in the gem, which is going to be crit. So you'll be able to get PvP power and crit in the same gem, which is your green, which will match, uh, you can either match all yellow and all blue with this, or you can move on and do another gem, which you could do for your yellow gems, which is going to be an orange gem called Potent. Uh, where is that? Oh, I clicked green here. There we go. Potent. And what it does is a perfect potent tiger opal. And it gives 80 intellect and 160 crit strike. So you can choose between PvP power or critical strike. I recommend if you have a PvE piece, per se, on... Like how I have Mithril Wrist Watch. I don't even know how to say that. Wrist Watch. It's hard to say. Uh, because it doesn't have PvP power on it yet, I don't have my, PV, or my PvP trinket yet. And I don't have the PvP weapon yet. So I don't get the PvP power from that, unfortunately. Um... So what I would recommend, since I have these PvE pieces and I'm lacking on some PvP power, is instead of going for this in your yellow slot, it would be it would be wiser to go for the Radiant um, Radiant Alexandrite. And people keep inviting me to a group. So, um, you could get your Crit Strike and PvP power and knock that out. You would be getting some extra ones if you want to when you have all of the PvP power you want. Is You could replace it with some Intellect, since the Intellect is a higher stat than PvP power. And for your Meta Gem, I recommend taking this Meta Gem as well as, it's the same one for Frost, it's called Burning Primal Diamond. And it gives 216 Intellect and 3% crit increased effect. So it's pretty pretty solid, pretty nice one. Uh, but when you get up to crit, you should be 
rocking. I mean, you should be getting some pretty pretty good ones. And for enchants, anyways, what I recommend is uh, pretty much going everything intellect and crit. Like again, I know that sounds weird, but uh, for example, I don't have it on these bracers yet because I don't have my PV like the real PVP bracers. But I was gonna get mastery um, on these bracers for frost. What I would recommend is going for intellect instead. And you can do a little bit more research on what enchants you could get. Like I mean, you can go up to the auction house right here, and let's look at it real quick. Like um. Let's go with enchant gloves. Let's see if there's anything for enchant gloves. I don't know off the top of my head if there is. Enchant gloves. Okay, so I'm going to look through this. There's haste. You don't want haste. That's bad. Uh, strength. You're obviously not going to take strength because you're a mage. Uh, what else? There's mastery, and then there's expertise. And I don't think there is anything else. Uh, it's mostly just mastery. So, I mean... If there isn't anything else, go for mastery, because mastery is still decent. It's just not very. It's not comparable to getting full crit, um, unfortunately. But there's like a, an old spell power one. This isn't. Yeah, there's nothing that's going to be really um, huge for you to use when it comes to the scaling of mastery. There's just nothing. Like you're not going to be able to use anything. So for gloves, I would go for mastery. Uh, pants get the standard int, int uh, stamina, whatever enchant it is. I think that's just int and stamina. And then for boots, I would go with the 140 mastery and minor speed increase. It's called Pandar and Step. Go for it. Uh, for your staff, your main hand weapons, go for either Windsong or the one that gives. I'm not sure if if, if like people can even make it yet. Enchant weapon. Let me find it really fast for you. Not Colossus, no, I don't think that's it. Yeah, it's not. Elemental Force, no. Um, I would I go with Windsong, honestly, because it gives all stats. It gives Crit, Haste, Mastery, and Crit, and ha crit Haste, Mastery is pretty strong, um, as opposed to, there's one that gives 1650 Intellect. I'm going to use Windsong, um, but that's just my opinion. You guys can choose whatever you want. But in my opinion, take Windsong for your, for your weapon. And for chest, obviously, you should go with the PvP Resilience one. It's um, Enchant Chest. It should be right around here. Let me find it just to show you. Super Resilience gives you 200 Resilience. So you can enchant that to your chest. Uh, for your cape, there's an Intellect one. Enchant Cloak. And, I mean, you can get the hit if you really need to, but I don't really think you need to. You can just do it with reforging. Um, there is Crit. So I would recommend actually going for crit. Uh, I don't know. I think there's an intellect one as well, but uh, yeah, there is. You could you could go for inter crit. Um, I would say probably since there's int, I would go for int. But at the same time, you know, if you want to go for crit, if your crit's lacking a little bit, go for crit. And for everything else, you should be able to get it self-explained. But I mean, for gems, enchants, reforging, everything you need to know is just disregard haste. Mastery's okay if you need to take it. Um, crit your top stat, PvP power is your top stat, and then that's pretty much it. But I hope I did teach you guys a little bit. I know that everyone's been recommending for me to do a stat priority on fire. And, I mean, you know, fire is a pretty fun spec. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be the top spec. I feel like a lot of mages are just going to be playing frost. I'd rather play fire, honestly. I think it's more fun in mop, but that's just my opinion. I mean, I can play the top spec. It's not that big of a deal. Um, overall, I hope you did learn something from this video. You know, if you did, feel free to leave a like on it. Leave a comment of any suggestion of something you would like to learn. Maybe I can get it rolling. And feel free to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I will be doing a ton of tutorials for you all. And things will be going very smoothly for you all to see throughout the expansion. Uh, I am finally getting geared up on another note. And once I get my full epic gear, I should be hitting a lot harder. Raids are going on my other one, so, you know, just gearing up. It's really just kind of like a gearing up stage. But anyways, enough of my rambling. I hope to see you all next time. Cartoons out.